In Kashina, Wisconsin, the College of Menominee Nation is offering tribal members a series of computer classes so to improve their else? digital skills. This basic computer training is part of a larger UW Extension effort to team up with community partners in Wausau, Superior, the Chippewa Valley, and Platteville to do similar work for a project called Building Community Capacity Through Broadband. My name is Dean Davis. I'm the broadband instructor for the College of Menominee Nation Continuing Education Department. My job is to teach community members about the internet about uh, broadband. We're going out and doing education on broadband, teaching folks about computer use, how to use computer internet, really what broadband is and, and how it can help them in the future and, and, uh, and now. There's a lot of members of our community that see computers as something that's hard and they would never know it. I'd like to teach them that they can, that you can take an easy approach at it. As far as turning the computer on, to using the mouse, to using the keyboard. Basically, you're getting the foot in the door with the computers. And once they do that, then they'll find out that it's, it's not that hard. And click on accept. And then real fast, two clicks. There you go, now you're on the internet. Our goal would be to get the people that are not online to uh, learn to be online. You have to connect to the internet. How do you do that? Okay, let's go to the X here in the top right, close that. Now go down here. Oh, the yellow one there, okay. Yeah. The yellow one? Yep. Man, I would have never found it. I know. I do classes that are here at um, the college. I go out into the community. These are our laptops that we use for the community. And this is what we're, we're using um, to teach. And we have our cart here that's weatherproof, then we have it with a lot of cushions so we're protecting the laptops. There are a number of communities here on the reservation so we're gonna try to reach out to as many as we can. We're going to areas that typically don't get a lot of uh, training on computers. We're going to senior centers, um, getting elders to start using computers and, and learn about computers. And they, some of them have never even turned a computer on or, or, or have touched a computer before. The people that I would like to have coming into our classes are, are a lot of people in uh, neighborhoods where they, they might not have had the internet before or might not use the computer. And we can make posters and hang them up in the doors or maybe just talk to people and spread the word, uh, build that awareness that we're coming. And that day, we can have a good turn of, of interested people. This is basically the, the internet. Participation's been really high. All levels of age groups, you know, elders, uh, the vets are real interested in it. We're at the St. Anthony's Church in Neopit, Wisconsin. And what we're gonna do today is we're gonna talk a little bit about uh, the internet and internet safety to some of the community members here in Neopit. Uh, if you want to, we could work on the internet, or if you wanted to try the Mavis Beacon typing teacher, we can do that too. Teaches you how to like do basic typing. And... Will I work on here? Yeah. Hi, I'm Mavis Beacon. Now you can start a lesson, or you can go to games. I like games. Ah! Uh, I crashed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's going <a> faster. <laughs> so if you use the internet, you're a citizen of a global community a cyber citizen. Just like being a citizen of your local community, being a cyber citizen has responsibilities to keep safe. Also, you want to watch what you share with other people. If you don't want a, anything to be seen by a lot of people, then it's probably not a good idea to put don't, it. Don't put it on it. Yeah. So. It's just like at home. If you don't want anyone to know something, then don't tell anybody, right? Right. right. And with all the information that's within the world, um, you have the internet that can access a lot of that. Most of your questions can be answered through the internet. Uh, I would like to teach a lot of people that may be struggling with things that you can access this information to, to help yourself. You, you can help yourself. Um, you can learn how to fix vehicles. You know, I learned how to replace the battery on my car. If you're into gardening, you can learn to do better gardening. 
guys there continue starting up a new business doing a paralegal work for our tribal court i'll be using this class and, and dealing with the different types of things you can get through connections through email especially writing up reports i haven't purchased a computer yet so i'm wanting you know, wanting to know about what kind of computer what kind of setup am i going to need with the world's uh, infinite knowledge at your fingertips a person and a community have a chance to rebuild what has been lost and learn to better sustain our community for years to come. The College Nomination website has a link that can help tribal members learn how to speak the Menominee language. It says Menominee language lessons and online training, click here. What they do is they log onto the site and then you're able to access videos and audio and different text that can help you learn your Menominee language. Turtle heart ceremony, traditional Menominee prayer, uh, days of the week, basic conversation. Uh, let's try that one. Anybody from the tribe can tune into that and watch these videos and listen to these audios and preserve the language in, in that way. And now I'm, I'm going to the library here and we have this type of cafe that, that we kind of created at the coffee shop and I, I just named it the College of Nomination Internet Cafe. I send out an email and I inform the whole college community that I'll be there. And what I do is press video call. Okay. So you can probably see my phone call or my uh, Skype call. Oh yeah, Dean Davis call. Well, with Skype and the uh, internet cafe, it's something fun that draws people in. You could use this in your office or with your students, mm -hmm. you know. And as students are passing through to go to the library or go to their classes, they'll uh, stop by and see me and I'll get them set up with a Skype account if they have time. So you can zoom in pretty <laughs> close. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Yeah. Unless I caught it in here, Grandma Are you purposely in black and white, or is this mine for me? No, I, I did that. Dean, if I sent Henry a message, how does he read the message? I got a cousin in New York, I got a friend in Atlanta, and I got a friend in Arkansas, and I got a cousin who was in Germany, but now he's in Afghanistan, he's in the military, and I communicate with him for on Skype. And you can see them, it's a bit of a lot more fun, you know, seeing their face expressions than talking to them on a the phone or sending them a Facebook message. In recent years, the Menominee Nation continued its tradition of volunteering for military service, providing one of the highest number of recruits per capita in the United States. I was in the Marines for four years, and I served in uh, Operation Enduring Freedom after September 11th. And one of the things that I do with my college education now in computers is I'm learning how to use the computers to, to help the veterans that are currently serving and those that are no longer uh, on active duty. Today I will donate two computers to the veterans and these computers will help the veterans uh, practice their computer skills. Uh, once they get set up with uh, email accounts, they can use these computers to email uh, other veterans. They can use them to email their doctors, uh, their, their loved ones overseas. I'm also doing another thing called the Veterans Internet Cafe, where area musicians have an opportunity to meet there and learn how to better their music online maybe using YouTube. And now we can play our, we can listen to the teachings. Uh, with the veterans organization, they like to use music to work with the vets. Sometimes that's more of a healing thing for the veterans if they experience the post-traumatic stress disorder. Hey, Jerry, there he goes. Hey, Jerry.
I like that. <laughs> And with what I do to teach people how to use the internet, uh, when they have questions that they want to answer, they can check their emails, they can fill out applications for employment, they can use the Skype to get in contact with their loved ones. I'd like to teach the community that you can use these computers uh, to help you in your day-to-day -day lives. And it betters the quality of life. Computers can really help in a lot of those ways.